Today we are working on Excel Lesson 1, the 10th and final lesson, Selecting Cells. So create a new blank workbook. So we have a new blank workbook. Select a single cell by clicking cell A9. So click A9. Select a range of cells by holding down the left mouse button in cell A9. Drag the mouse to cell C5. C5. And release the mouse button. You can see that those things are highlighted. Mark that as answered. Go to the next one. Select an entire column by clicking on the column E header at the top of the worksheet. So if you just click on that E, you can see that that entire column is selected. Select an entire row by clicking on row 14 header on the left side. So if you click on that 14, you can see that that entire row is selected. Select the entire workbook by clicking select all in the top left hand corner of the worksheet. So right up here, this little gray triangle in the corner, when you click on that, you can see that it selects everything. So mark that as answered. Now select more than one non-contiguous range of cells. Select the range of cells B4, B4, excuse me, B4 to B7. Hold the control key. And we're going to select from D11 to E18. Continue holding the control and select F2 to D3. F2 to D3. Release the control key. And you see in this picture all of the things that should have been selected. And that's what ours looked like. So mark that as answer. Go to the next one. Now use the keyboard to select a range of cells. Select cell A9. While holding down shift, press the appropriate arrow keys to extend the range to cell C5. So hold down the shift key. Go over and then go up. And that does the same thing that we did with the mouse. Now try selecting another range of cells using an alternative method on the keyboard. So uh, select E10. While holding down shift, click in cell G15. And you can see that it selected all of that stuff. And that's it. Mark is answered. Submit results. And that just taught you a bunch of different ways to select cells. So this completes Excel Lesson 1.